Hi everyone. So today I have with me another problem from chapter three. This is problem 3.75. So I know in my last video, I said that I might be done for chapter three problems, but then I realized that I actually haven't done any relative, um, like relative motion questions. And so I thought I should probably do a bunch of those. Plus I haven't been getting as much like feedback as I would have liked on my, my like most recent videos the more difficult ones. Um, but I guess like the only one that did respond positively um, or like the one that responded the most positively was like an easier question. And I realized I don't have too many easy questions. So I'm probably gonna try to upload like maybe like a few more easier type questions. And then uh, maybe then I'll move on to forces or what I might do is I'll just mix them in. So I'll do some from chapter four and then chapter three. And all right, so let's solve this problem. So I just want to make it clear that this is from Young and Friedman's University textbook. This is not my um, question, and but the solution is mine. So whatever I'm coming up with is um, is all for me. It's I solved it by myself, and um, and that's the solution that I'm presenting right now. Okay, so two soccer players, Mia and Alice, are running as Alice passes the ball to Mia. M Mia is running. Sorry. Sometimes I just, I can't read problems. I'm gonna start again. Two soccer players, Mia and Alice, are running as Alice passes the ball to Mia. Mia is running due north with a speed of 6.00 meters per second. The velocity of the ball relative to Mia is 5.00 meters per second in a direction 30 degrees east of south. What are the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the ball relative to the ground? So this question is, much different than any of the other problems that we've done before. This is relative motion. And so there really isn't projectile motion here, but it's still 2D motion. And you can kind of see that with this east, south, north. So this approach is going to be a little bit different. We are still gonna have a diagram in our knowns and unknowns, but it's, it's gonna be a slightly different type of diagram. So before we were actually just drawing um, pictures of, for example, the projectile. And now we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be, most of the time, we're gonna define a coordinate system. It's usually gonna be some bird's eye view. And then we're going to define all of our parameters on that coordinate system. And then we're gonna write down our knowns and then we're gonna define the problem and solve from there. Okay, so let's do that. So let's draw our coordinate system. So we're given a lot of North, East, South, West. So let's do that. Let's draw that. Okay. So starting with this black pen, I'm just gonna do it right here in the bottom corner like we typically do. So we have north, we have east, we have south, and we have west. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to go through our problem and just draw the relevant um, vectors on our grid. Actually, another thing I just wanna make clear before I do that is that even though we have North, East, South, and West, let's define positive and negative, right? Because North and South kind of exist in the same dimension and East and West in the same dimension, but one of them has to be positive and one of them has to be negative if we want our problem to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is positive and this is positive, and the other two are negative and negative. Okay, so now let's find our vectors and define. So Mia is running due north with a speed of 6.00 meters per second. Okay, so let's say that this red part that I underline, it's going to be She's running due north. So that's how the vector is going to kind of look like, right? And let's just write 6.00 meters per second right next to it. Okay. So the velocity of the ball relative to Mia is 5 meters per second, 30 degrees east of south. So whenever we have east of south, it's actually southeast. Well, I'm, I'm saying actually like this is wrong. No, you can say it both ways. You can say it east of south, or you can say 
south, something degrees east. But um, I like to think of it south, 30 degrees east, east, just because I think it's so much easier to visualize in my head, but whatever works for you works for you. This is just a personal preference. Okay, so south, 30 degrees east. So it's gonna look something like that. So let's go ahead and say that that's 30 degrees and that's 5.00 meters per second. And now what are we looking for? We are looking for the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the ball relative to the ground. Okay, so we drew out our vectors here, but what do these vectors actually mean? So in relative motion problems, you want to know what chain rule is, but this is this um, this video isn't really about like what chain rule is. I'm gonna assume that you already know it. Um, because this is more of like a tutorial type video. But if you want, I can always do a video explaining what like the like small, smaller concepts such as relative motion and chain rule, for example. But I'm gonna assume that you already know what it is. And let's go ahead and define our knowns, right? So let's write that down. So Mia is running due north with a speed of 6.00 meters per second. So our knowns, let's just define that. Let's just write that down. So let's say speed of Mia is equal to 6.00 meters per second north. We know that. Okay, what else? The velocity of the ball relative to Mia. So good convention is if you're doing the velocity of something relative to something, you can do ball relative to Mia is equal to 5.00 meters per second. So 30 degrees east. Okay, so now what are the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the ball relative to the ground? So again, we're doing something relative to something. Let's write that down. This is what we want. Or I shouldn't say known, knowns and unknowns. I can, because the next thing is unknown. So the ball relative to the ground is equal to, well, we don't know, and we don't know. But we have to use chain rule. Remember, chain rule works such that we have speed of A relative to C is going to be speed of A relative to B plus speed of B to C. And this is chain rule. So we have to put this in proper format because we don't really have anything right over here. So we have to rewrite this variable right over here. So what really is this, right? So it's Mia running due north with a speed of 6.00 meters per second. Okay, well, what is Mia running relative to? The ground, right? Because she can't be running, like, there's no other information in the question, so it has to be the ground. Like, she's not running relative to the wind, she's not running relative to the ball. It says that she's just running north, which means that because ground is what we're doing the question relative to. That means that Mia is going to be run, running relative to the ground. So it's going to be Mia relative to the ground is 6.00 meters per second north. Okay. Now let's write this in chain format. So if we want ball relative to ground speed, then we're, we're going to have to do ball relative to Mia plus Mia relative to the ground. And that's our chain rule. So that's what we're going to do. All we really have to do is, if we want to find this, we just have to add these together. Okay, but wait, don't we have two dimensions, right? Because we have, we have um, this dimension and we also have this dimension. We have north, south, and we have east, west. So we have this x and y direction. So, so what we can do is let's write down, let's break down our um, speeds into two components, right? So our north-south component and our east-west component, just for like, I'm gonna call this 
east west x like positive and minus like minus x and then i'm going to call north and south positive and negative y okay so let's go ahead and do that so if we have x and y right so we're gonna just call this I'm just going to call this y, I'm just going to call this x, right? And we said up is going to be positive and right is going to be um, positive. So Mia, relative to the ground, that's going to be zero meters per second in the x direction, right? Because she's only going north, there is no x component. Mia, relative to the ground, in the y direction is just 6.00 meters per second and positive because it's pointing north, right? Now, what about the ball relative to Mia? That's going to be 5.0 sine 30. And where did I get sine 30? Because if we want x, we want this component. It's going to be 5 sine 30, and we get this, right? Because um, a rhyme that I learned in grade 11, and I just never forgotten and I use like in every 2D motion question is cos is close sine is the other line so when you're doing um when you want to find out the close component it's going to be you're going to use cos and then the sine component is going to be the other line so opposite right so it's going to be 5.00 and because it's in this positive direction we're just going to have a little positive right over here and now to find the Cos, or sorry, the the y component, right? We're gonna do minus because we're going down, right? So minus five cos thirty, and we're just gonna add these together. So then we get our final x and our final y, and so we have two point five zero meters per second. When we, do, when we plug this into our calculator. And then here we have, oh, I have to actually do this, sorry. I completely forgot to plug this into my calculator. Okay, actually I didn't, I just didn't recognize it. Okay, so this is 1.66987 meters per second, right? So now we have our X component and we have our Y component. I'm just gonna circle this in I haven't used green too much yet, so I can use that. Oh, that's red. So that's our X and that's our Y. Now, how do we get our final component? Because we have X and we have Y. So now this is where um, the math in the trig comes in, right? So we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem and then we're gonna use trig. So X is positive, right? So it's going to look if, we, if this is our starting point, right? Or actually, I should do it in green. So it's going to be 2.5, right? Because east is positive. And this is positive right over here. And then 1.6. I'm going to write 1.67, actually, just for because we're limited with space. 2.5 and 1.67. And we're trying to find out what this component is. I'm just going to draw that again. A little bit bigger. This is 2.5. This is 1.66. And if we want to find out what this darker green component is, Pythagorean theorem. So it should have been 1.67, but I, I usually just like to carry as many decimal places as I can beforehand because um, it just minimizes error. And I get 3.01 meters per second. So that's the final speed, right? That's the magnitude of the velocity. So we only have speed, but now we need to find direction. So now if we want to find direction, remember that this is north and this is east, right? It's going to be, um, we're going to do tan of opposite over adjacent. And 
or tan inverse bob is over adjacent sorry not tan and i get 33.7 degrees so that means it's going to be 33.7 degrees so east it's going to be east 33.7 degrees north or north of or 33.7 degrees north of east yeah i don't like saying that i like the first way i like how i wrote it right over here but they're both the exact same thing okay so our final answer that means is what are the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the ball relative to the ground um it is 3.01 meters per second east 33.7 degrees north and that is our final answer so if this question was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe and that's also how i figure out like what type of content you guys like and um what to make more questions of and what not to do again and if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments or send me an email. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.